What's up and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. So today I'm going to talk about something that I think is extremely important and can be extremely confusing for a lot of people. So I'm going to try to break it down in a way that's easy to understand. Now I've known for years that Nvidia Optimus can reduce performance in games, but I had no idea that it could cause up to 170 FPS drop in some titles. This is much more severe than I thought possible. Now of course many of you out there already knew that this was a bigger issue and I didn't quite realize just how important Nvidia Optimus can be when it comes to CPU bound games. Now while I was benchmarking this machine it was extremely confusing as to why certain titles this laptop would severely underperform compared to other laptops and past Intel machines that theoretically had much weaker processors. Um, and then this is on top of, of course, the NVIDIA RTX 3000 launch with Max-Q and Max-P confusion. And so this is just another whole layer that you're gonna wanna keep in mind, okay? NVIDIA Optimus allows the laptop to switch between the integrated GPU and the dedicated GPU, allowing for better battery life, while at the same time uh, allowing you to utilize the GPU and switch it on the fly without having to restart your computer. And I really liked the implementation that ASUS has on the G17 because you can switch it without having the monitor uh, flicker or dim and then you can do it basically instantly. The problem is when you use NVIDIA Optimus, it severely hampers CPU performance and especially performance in CPU bound games. And here's the reason for this. Now, after the NVIDIA GPU has rendered the game, it can either send the signal through the integrated GPU or directly to the display bypassing NVIDIA Optimus. If you want the most performance, you don't want to go through the integrated graphics card because then the CPU has to process the video signal, adding a bottleneck to your CPU performance. Now, in AAA titles, you can expect about a five to 10% performance dip because of NVIDIA Optimus. But in eSports titles that tend to be much more CPU bound, I saw up to a 65% reduction in overall performance. That's a 170, yeah, wow. <laughs> That's so big. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, <laughs> Now the way I see it, you can have a laptop configured one of four ways. It can either have Nvidia Optimus, a lot of laptops just have this right now. It can have Advanced Optimus, which allows for G-Sync and on the fly dedicated switching between the integrated GPU and the dedicated GPU, allowing full performance and G-Sync at the same time. The third and most basic option, but severely hampers your battery life, is you can just hook the NVIDIA graphics card straight to the display and skip Optimus altogether, ensuring you're getting the maximum performance. And the fourth option, which a lot of manufacturers are doing, they include a MUX switch or a multiplexer switch that allows you to restart the machine and switch between Optimus mode and just dedicated NVIDIA mode. Now here's a chart with the dark blue bars indicating performance with NVIDIA Optimus on, and the light blue bars indicate the additional performance you get when you run the GPU directly from the NVIDIA GPU to an external monitor through the USB-C port. Now it's very important that you pick the correct port on the back of the laptop because the HDMI is hooked up to the integrated GPU just like as if you're running NVIDIA Optimus, but the USB-C port is hooked directly to the NVIDIA graphics card. Now when you bypass NVIDIA Optimus, you basically free up the CPU to utilize the full performance in whatever game you're playing because when you're routing the video through the integrated GPU, the CPU has to process the signal, reducing the overall performance of the laptop in whatever game you're playing. Now, how much of a deal breaker this is will vary a lot depending on who you are as a person. I know that for a good chunk of gamers, this will be a big downside. So while this laptop has a ton of benefits and really great performance in many, many ways, you only get the true performance when you hook it up to an external display. Now I think it's very important to keep perspective here. I mean, you're talking 262 FPS. This thing has a 300 Hertz refresh rate. You're almost at the max refresh rate of the display anyway. That said, the performance of this machine still is so good, but when you disable NVIDIA Optimus and you're getting direct GPU performance to the display, you just get that extra big jump. So the big question is, is this a deal breaker for you? In my opinion, it's, it's really not that big of a deal simply because the performance you get even with Nvidia Optimus is still such great performance for the money. 
And then if you still want the maximum performance, you can always hook it up to an external monitor with a USB-C cable. So I think it'll vary so much from user to user if you're going to want to play a lot of esports titles on the laptop display itself, this becomes a bigger deal. But if you mainly play titles that are GPU bound anyway, then you will barely notice a difference. So even if you are an esports junkie, don't let that necessarily dissuade you from buying this laptop, but it all depends on what title you're going to play, how CPU bound it is, and whether or not you can hook up an external monitor to the USB-C port. Now there undoubtedly will be laptops this year that will feature a MUX switch that will allow you to bypass NVIDIA Optimus. The important thing is that you're just aware of it, especially if you're an esports player. This is a key thing that you want to be aware of when buying a laptop. Now I want to make it clear that I still really like this Strix G17, like it is such an exciting laptop in so many ways and I'm so glad I figured out how to utilize the full performance of the CPU and GPU. So that's it for this video, I hope you found it helpful, I tried to make it as simple as possible. I will see you in the next one, Brandon out.